It looks like a scene from tomorrow's world and that's exactly what it is. Here in Wharton in Lancashire, BAE Systems have been involved in a number of projects that are developing unmanned aircrafts that can be used both out in theatre and for civil applications such as search and rescue operations. This is Mantis, a UAV with a long-range endurance system and I-Star capabilities. Successful flight trials over Australia in 2009 means that more money is being pumped into its development from both BAE Systems and French company Dassault. If plans go ahead, it will deploy to war zones and replace the Reaper in 2020. The key to development is autonomy. Autonomy is, is used on the systems when it improves either safety or the effectiveness of it. It's not going to replace the human. Um, but we're looking at uh, areas where maybe in the sensor systems, rather than just receiving a video feed from the sky, you actually now start re re receiving information from the aircraft where it's already found what you're looking for. But this summer, after six years of hard work, it's this jet stream that's getting the limelight. Well, this may look like a normal airliner, but over the summer it will be taking part in around 20 flight trials that will not only be unmanned, but more importantly, test its sense and avoid capabilities. Unlike the current UAVs that can only fly in restricted airspace, this flying testbed can do so much more. Using an electronic eye, it's believed to have the world's first autonomous weather avoiding system. It has sense and avoid technology, so can see potential hazards in the air. And if it needs to make an emergency landing, it can detect a safe landing area. We have an infrared camera in the belly of the aircraft, which we use for our emergency landing system. Um, we have a TV camera in the cockpit, which has 20-20 eyesight. We use that as part of our visual sense and avoid system and our visual weather avoidance system. This jet stream aircraft goes up with two pilots on board and a load of computer equipment in the back of it, as well as the various sensors we use for these trials. Once the aircraft has been taken off, the pilots hand the, the aircraft over to the computer systems and then it flies just as it was an unmanned aircraft. This jet stream flying testbed is groundbreaking technology, so much so that in the future we may see both manned and unmanned aircraft sharing the same airspace. Laura Hawkins, Forces News, Lancashire.